Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement Private Limited and in this video this is mainly focused for a quick tour for Excel users who are at the basic to intermediate level and for those users who want a quick revision or a quick tour for Excel formulas and functions. So in this video you will find a lot of a demonstration on different examples regarding the Excel functions and formulas and this is a very useful video uh, for the students and for the professionals who want a, a quick revision uh, for Microsoft Excel. So let's get start. Uh, each situation contains a different kind of uh, formula or a function and uh, let me start with very simplified uh, functions or, or expressions you can say in Microsoft Excel. So the first situation states write a formula cells we need to sum two numbers so every time you start with an equal sign either you write a formula or a function in excel so the number one will be added with number two so it's a very simple formula b3 plus c3 and once you get the output so you will select the uh, existing range and uh, you will press ctrl d to copy and paste that existing uh, formula to the other cells as well downwards uh, the next is to subtract uh, the numbers so write a formula which subtracts uh, number four from number three so we will subtract b15 minus c15 and press the ctrl d to copy and paste right then the third example is of multiplication so in excel uh, h3 static sign represent the multiplication so h3 multiply by i3 and we will copy and paste by pressing ctrl d and then dividing the numbers so we are required to divide the numbers and uh, we will use this slash sign so h15 divided by i15 so very simple expressions plus minus multiplication and division next so here we have a column uh, which consists of some numbers, some positive numbers and negative numbers. So it says that write a formula to sell sum all the numbers in the numbers one table by using sum formula. So we'll be using equals to sum. Then we will select the entire range of numbers from C3 to C12 and press the enter key. Then in the second situation, at the bottom we have raw wise data which consists of again some positive and negative numbers and this time we want a quick sum so I will just select three cells where I need the output and I will press the shortcut key that is alt equals to so it will give me a quick sum because the data is adjacent uh, and the data and the output cells are together there is no gap in between so the alt equals to sign will work when your data will be together and it would be adjacent now the next third part of this specific sum function is write a formula to the cells sum each row and grand total by using the sum formula so we will add two numbers with a very simple expression uh, that is i3 plus j3 and we will just press ctrl d to copy and paste downwards and here in the grand total we will be using sum function so equals to sum we have selected the range and then close the bracket press enter right it's very simple then in in this particular sheet we are required to use the count function in the different scenarios so the first situation says that write a formula to cells which find total count of numbers uh, so there is a very simple function that is count count basically only counts those cells which consist of numbers either positive or negative right so there are 20 cells in this range and then the second situation states that uh, count all those number cells which are in blue highlighted so again we will use count and we will select the entire range also uh, the blank cells as well but count function will definitely give an output in which we have the number so it says 15 right all right in the fourth sheet which is consist of some scenarios regarding the average function so the first situation is write a formula to cell and find an average of numbers by using the average formula so we will be using equals to average we will select the entire range column 
and the average is 16 now in the next situation situation 2 uh, left side is a table of children in kindergarten and cal we have to calculate the average of boys and girls separately by using average formula but because this is a conditional uh, criteria so we will use not a simple average but average if okay so first we will select the gender column which is the range then we will define the criteria in the inverted comma so we are required to uh, get the average age of girls so I wrote the word girl in the inverted commas and then uh, the column which consists of ages different ages for the average range so it's 6.1 and same similar will go for the boys now equals to average if the column the selection of the range which consists of gender and we need a criteria this time of boy and then average range of age column right so that's 6.9 easy next now in in this particular sheet we are required to apply the max and min functions of different scenarios so there is a range horizontal range which again consists of some numbers positive or negative and we want to find the highest number so we will be using max function so equals to max entire range has been selected and pressing the enter key so it's 876 then in the next situation we are required to use the min which will give the least value lowest value within the data so we have selected this specific range and the minimum value is negative 949 9, right now in the second situation it it, it says that find the uh, highest number now the, as you can see that there is a number which is 9.9 .9 million and it's repeating every time in, in these three columns so uh, the condition is that we need to delete these numbers and then we need to find the highest number so there there can be many possible ways but let me just delete because the data is short so you can do it by selecting or running the replace command or any other thing you want to like so now I can use the max function which will not give that particular 9.9 .9 million but the other number so it's 957 which is the highest entire in this particular range in the third scenario we have some numbers here column wise and row wise and we need to find out minimum from each of the columns so what I will do is for the quick navigation I will select do these four cells and I will apply the min function selecting the first column range and now I will press control enter key so that the other columns would automatically be selected by the main function right that's the quickest way and then they want the average of minimums so equals to average and all four minimum answers would range would get into the average function that returns 5.75 right all right in this particular sheet we are required to apply some functions regarding the date so in the first situation it says write today's date by using today function so if we want today's date we will simply write equals to today bracket open bracket close and today is 30th October 2020 the next situation states that we need to extract the number of day from a date so we will be using equals to day and the cell reference of date so today's 30th day of the month then in the third situation uh, we are required to get the number of the month so it's a very simple function equals to month cell reference and bracket close right and last for the year so it's 2020 right very simple now next in the situation fifth we are required to join three things which is year day and month in the date function so when we write equals to date bracket open first we need to look at the year then month and then day and definitely that will return you a slash format so in the slash format we have month at the first day in between and last year okay so in last situation there are three questions maximum date in dates table so we need to find the maximum date so that can be done with the help of max function we will select the dates range so the highest date is 15th May 2016 and the lowest date for the lowest date will be using minimum function so it's 4th May 2014 and the difference definitely a simple expression of minus and there are 742 days difference right next 
okay so in this uh, in this particular sheet we are required to use some length functions uh, length basically gives returns a number and it gives you the number of characters which are presented in a, in that particular cell so equals to length cell reference and then round bracket close and you can just copy and paste so it will give you different numbers according to the characters presented in the cell right in the second situation it's again asking for you to apply the length function and then the average of all the lengths so average and this entire column of length answers so it's 13.9 uh, in the third situation it, it says you that uh, in this particular green box there should be 70 characters exactly so we need to write 70 characters and for in this demonstration I am just writing a one key and let me find out the length of this particular box that should be equal to the 70 now it's 90 so I need to subtract some of the characters from here and I can check that 71 and then 70 right so easy so I hope you are enjoying this video and uh, Excel is uh, uh, you are refreshing your Excel concepts so in this particular sheet we are required to use some of the functions again related to the count but this time a different function so there there is a range in which we have some blank cells some uh, text function some text cells negative and positive numbers uh, we are required to calculate or count the number of non blank cells so we will be using count a uh, which can count all kind of cells which have the data but do not count the blank cells so it returns 13 right again we need uh, count a raw wise so I will be using count a and selecting the entire raw and just copying and pasting and then at last sum of all non blank cells so definitely a simple sum function will be applied here all right so next in the third situation it says that count a function count for all non blank cells okay so for all non blank cells we will be using count a for this entire array or range then it says count only numerical cells so count function gives you the count of only the numerical cells which has the numbers either positive or negative and the difference between two so 13 minus 7 which means m11 minus m12 okay so easy okay in this particular sheet we are required to use some rounding functions so let's explore so in the first situation it says uh, round this number to the zero decimal okay so simple round function cell reference and we are not required to use the num digit so it's zero so it's 3.0 instead of 3.2 it's 3.0 then we need to use the round function again but this time one digit so round comma one num digits so it's 15.20 then we have uh, round up function so we'll be using round up and num digits will be zero so it's because 7.9 it's rounding up getting us highest number so it's 8.0 round down equals to round down again zero digits num digits and it's instead of 7.9 it's 7.0 because we have used the round down okay in the next uh, example which is five we need to require round the numbers on the upper table to two decimal places by using round function so it's very simple we will be applying round function and referring to the first cell of this array and zero num digits and we will just copy and paste rightwards by pressing ctrl r and ctrl d for the downwards right that's it okay in the next sheet some product that's the last sheet of our this video okay so some product of two columns right so equals to some product so array one the number one column and the array two numbers two column so each each raw number will be divided with the next number and and then adding uh, raw wise okay so it gives 500 and then in the next situation we are we will be using some product data as a raw wise so we will select first raw comma then second raw and bracket close that gives 308 and the last situation states that we are required to calculate weighted average age in a company so to calculate the weighted average age first we will apply some product right and in the first array we will select ages then 
number of people divided by sum of number of people okay that will give us the weighted average age in a company which is 31.4 so so far very quickly this was the short tour of excel formulas and functions in which we have explored 10 different kind of situations and uh, we have quickly applied and refresh our excel formulas logics and concepts so i hope you like this video do share with your colleagues thank you